Alright guys, back with you here. This is the coach for the MTG Noob on the play in round two. So, yeah. No mulligans. This card is actually kind of handy. It's slow. But it fixes the problems that I typically have. I guess I'm wondering how to play it. Well, you play it first, and then the next turn, you get exactly what you need. I don't know, here. Here I think we don't play it, because I want the Augury Adept out on turn three. Right. He's got his blood gas. Pretty cool card. But he can't block, so. Can't get the sword out and equip it. Opponents probably run it terminates anyway, so. That's in there, baby. What's he got here? Okay. Alright, I think we do want to we want to play the swamp. Let's go ahead and just play the swamp out and then we'll throw down our sword. Profane Command is just sick. Sick. Unbelievable sick. All right, let's see here. Can Snapcaster at the end of his turn? Can end up getting in trouble from. Alright guys, so he's going to cast Basilisk Collar. Okay. Swinging in. Uh, yeah, we'll just let that hit. See if our opponent has an answer here. Uh, 
All right. Well, could mill him ten. That's really pretty much the only thing we can do here. Uh, we'll attack smiles. Okay, I'm gonna look at his graveyard. Cool. Cute little wolf there. He's summoning sick. Not really worried about two. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let him hit me. Hmm, very nice. Okay, well, hmm. Let's see what we could do. Pro green, pro, pro blue. Can profane command for three. That's not going to do it. It's just going to come in hot. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably one card we couldn't really deal very well with. I'll go ahead and just forbid an alchemy. See what we end up with here. Dungeon Geist actually works well. Probably need to side the mannequin out. Uh, this dude can go in. Yeah, we're just dead. Alright guys, so we just get wiped pretty much. And we'll just scoop. A little bit late on the second swamp because of the glacier. So we'll scoop on this one. Alright, the mannequin does need to come out. Kinda works against what we're doing. But I think having another counter spell is better. Okay. Not bad. Just Grave Titan, just too much to get through. Could have profaned commanded something smaller, but three, not a lot you can do there. So we'll submit and wait back in. I got my son talking to me about. Pokemon here. Wants me to help him catch a Feebas, which I'm willing to do soon. So let's see. This guy's deck's pretty good. I don't feel like we drew out quite quick enough uh, for what we needed to do. Alright, let's be on the play. See what we can do here. Mm -mm. Mm. 
that's just not good at all. Yeah, we're gonna have to maul this. No, yeah, it's better. All right, don't plan on. I'm gonna play the glacier out first this time. So we can fix our mana up front. Okay, got a skull clamp. Go ahead and get our swamp on. That's a good combo. Boys and girls, well we could Yeah, so good. I can't equip it though, which is cool. Guess you could equip it and just cycle it if you wanted. Okay. I'll just play out for the counter spell here. We'll swing in. But it takes two, yeah. Okay. See if he just wants to draw two more, maybe. Let's see what he wants to do. Something super beefy. We'll counter it. Maybe he just wants to cycle again. We do have all the lands that we need, so Skull Clamp is pretty awesome. Basically two cards for two, and you get an attack buff. He's probably going to want to cast something out, but I mean, surely he's got another land. Maybe he wants to cast something out that he can... Clamp maybe he thinks we've got a counter spell, which would be correct. Um, yeah, we're really okay with that. Okay. See, lay down a land. Really concerned about that six drop. More than anything. All right. Let's see here. Could lay down Grim Grin. But I think the Skin render is the way we want to go. Don't really think I need the mana either. Uh, maybe. Oops, attack in here first.
play on our grim grim. Okay, so he's got jumpers for days here. And if he's got if he's got lethal for Grim Grim, then we're in trubs. But he is black, so that helps out some. And we'll take three. Not real concerned about taking three. Go ahead and clamp them out. Do want to wait to untap Grim Grin until our turn? Well, might not get the chance now. We might just bounce them. This works out pretty well for us. Unless he can skull clamp something else. I guess he's got to get rid of a card. I'm not sure what it needs to be. Hopefully we get to our turn where we can counterspell something if we need to. Oh, that's brutal. Ugh. Well, that worked out perfectly. Then it had a oof, one mana kill spell for our bomb. That's no good. All right, we're gonna. Guess we'll go ahead and play out our skin render. Kill that dude. Swing. Yeah, so it ain't perfect. Maybe he tries to bait us initially. And jump out. Three, four, five. Five on the field. He's got to have a land in his seven cards, for heaven's sake. He's probably just holding them for the blood ghast, if I had to guess. Us with two lands. In our hand. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just counterspell that. I don't want him drawing more cards than he already can. It's kind of ridiculous. Swinging in. Uh, we could block, but we won't. I don't know what he's got.
Okay. All right, so we've got an unburial rights that we can straight cast. So I think let's see. Swing in. I think here we'll just swing in and cast our massive flyer. Try and block out a little bit. Let him chomp here. Ah, uh, that's bad. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because if we'd have played the other land, it would have been tapped anyway, so. It does stop his assault from above, however. Let's see what he's got. Just come with everybody. Maybe he skull clamps for a removal spell, or maybe he's got bounce or something. Probably. He's thinking about it. At least we're standing in here a little bit. It's not bad. Second cube match ever. In round two, we're not we're not too upset about it. Yeah, we just block out here. Hopefully it's enough. Hopefully you can't summon five. He may have a, a kill spell with Morbid. It's possible, certainly. Okay, Titan, yeah. Okay. That's not really what we want to see. So, all right, just draw two cards. We have to kill him now, however. I think. All right, we'll just play this out. Play out our augury adept. We'll just go ahead and should we? Yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and kill. This Grave Titan. We'll cast this. Triple blue. No, we can't do that. Let's see. Uh, I think we need to just unburial rights. First, we could get rid of one of these fairies if we put in the skin render. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. Let's see. We get rid of this fairy. And shall we? I don't think so. Gonna need that for Grim Grin, maybe, which we cast on the next turn. We could pull Profane Command, it would be awesome, but I think that may be the only thing that gets out of this jam. Let's see what we draw. Not in a super good board position. Our opponent does have six cards in his hand, so it's not like he's hurting. The Grave Titan is a, just a monster, no matter what format you're playing, I guess. I 
Lana does have to keep in mind he's going to have a problem here unless he deals with that. But he can swing here for a pretty effective amount. And we'll have to just block out what he sends. He's thinking about it. I'm sure he's got a bounce spell in his hand by now. I mean, Snapcaster would be sweet. But our opponent's going to think for a while, so. Alright. Uh, we've got the Creeping Tar Pit coming in. It's unblockable. That works pretty well. Swinging out, maybe. Swinging in. And we'll dutifully block here. Four to five. Okay. Chandra. Ping our skin, skin render. It's a good play. All right, so let's go ahead and tap out for the planes that we need to reanimate, and then we'll go ahead and throw in this guy. Also. I think we're pretty close to dead. He really doesn't have to do anything, cast anything, necessarily to beat us. He's got these flyers, that's so trouble. Okay, let's just see what his play is here. We have a sort of counter. He's got a crap load of land though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, he's gonna start combat. Let's see what he wants to do. He didn't add his tar pit, which is weird. He could have killed us, I think, with just a tar pit. <laughs> All right. Kind of plotting here. Let's see what he wants to do. I guess the reason he didn't go for the tar pit is because he knew we would kill it. Maybe he's looking to copy a spell. I'm not certain. Swing it out, baby. Okay, well, we're going to block here and trade out. We'll block. Here, here, and we'll trade out here. So we end up taking two, three, pings us for one. Okay, and we'll kill his other fairy rogue in the air.
guess we could have avoided taking quite that many. Let's see what he's got. Gonna draw a couple cards. It's cool. Seven. So he's got to tap out for six. I don't think he'll have that much difficulty in killing us. Now seven. So probably toast. There's no way to get rid of the bitter blossom. And he's just had too many flyers. Six cards in hand. Come on, buddy. You got something, don't you? Mm -hmm. He's going to make us sack our creature out, which is fine. There's not a lot we can do about that. Okay. Oh, burst and volley. Um. Yeah, we'll just. What the heck? We'll go for it. Gotta pay two more. Kind of a long plotting way to die, but die we shall. Alright. Well, so that's round two. Didn't work out so great. But, you know, we were competitive at the least. The Skull Clamp Bitter Blossom combo just ended up being a little bit too much for us. And the Blood Gas was pretty cool to see. So, yeah, not disappointed. Alright, so that's round two. Didn't quite get it done there. Uh, this is the coach. Round three coming up. Please subscribe.